All right, we're going to do a quick video here on how to find lowest common multiple and greatest common factor of a set of numbers. And um, in particular, perhaps the most difficult thing is not confusing what each one of these things means. So let's take a moment and talk about that. When you're talking about a lowest common multiple, what it's asking is what's the smallest number that everything in your set of numbers divides into without any like leftovers or anything like that. And greatest common factor says what's the biggest number that divides into the set of numbers you're given. So they're kind of, well, they're, they're opposites. And um, it, it matters in which way you think about it. So like when you're talking about multiplying, uh, it doesn't matter which you order you multiply. Like, for example, 4 times 8 is the same as 8 times 4. However, 4 divided by 8 is completely different than 8 divided by 4. So why that's important is here, for the lowest common multiple, the numbers we have divide into another number, whereas for the greatest common factor, the other number that we're looking for divides into the numbers we're given. Okay? So uh, let's get started. There's a couple methods that I'm going to show you, um, you know, how to find each of these, but let's go ahead and start with the, the simplest way, which is uh, sometimes the, the best. So let's start with the greatest common factor. So again, when you're asked for greatest common factor, you're looking for what is the biggest number that's a factor of the set of numbers you have. Um, so here we have 3, we have 9, we have 12. Hopefully you see that 3 goes into all of those. If that's the case, if one of the numbers divides into the others in your set, then that's the greatest common factor. But sometimes it's not always that simple. And so the way you find it is you actually the way you find the greatest common factor is you actually factor all of those numbers. So 3 is, of course, the factors of 3 are 3 and 1, so just 3. 3 times 3 is 9, so those are the factors of, of 9. And, and 3 times 4, 3 times 4 is 12. Um, you could make this all the way down to prime factors, but I think here we can already see that the biggest number, the biggest number that divides into all of the numbers in our set is 3. So our answer, the GCF, the greatest common factor here, is 3. The biggest number that divides into all of the numbers in the set is 3. All right, now, same set of numbers, let's talk about the lowest common multiple. Lowest common multiple is asking, what's the smallest number that all of these divide into? So the, the easiest way, not always the easiest, but the simplest way to figure this out is actually by making a list just like we d did over here. Um, well, a little different. So anyway, uh, we're going to make a list of the multiples of these numbers. See, we're looking for the lowest common multiple, so we're actually going to make a list of the multiples. Whereas greatest common factor, what we did is we actually made a list of the factors, and we looked for the biggest factor they had in common. So here we're going to make a list of the multiples, and we're going to find the smallest number that's a multiple of all of the numbers on our list. Sometimes the easiest way is to start with the biggest. The biggest number, and let's make the multiples of that. So 36, 48, 60, 72, 84. We can probably stop there. Now, I'm going to make a list of the multiples of 9. And what I'm going to look for is I'm going to look to see if one of those exists over here. So I got 9, I got 18, 27, 36. Ah, oh, right there. Now, if 3 goes into those into 36 and we're good. And it does, of course, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. 36 is the smallest number that all three of these numbers goes into. So the lowest common multiple would be 36. All right, so uh, let's look at a, a trickier a trickier pair of numbers here. 6 and 16. And I'm going to show you the two methods. The first method, we're actually going to, we're going to make lists. Okay? For lowest common multiple, we'll make a list of the multiples of, of uh, these two. So 6 and 16. Right? So 16 times 2 is 32. And if I add to that, again, I get 48. And I'm looking for, the whole time I'm thinking, does 6 go into either of those? 6 does go into 48, so 
48 is my answer. So let, let me make sure this makes sense. The lowest common multiple is asking for what's the smallest number that's a multiple of these two? What's the smallest number these two both go into? So I started with the biggest one, the biggest number in my set, and I just write, wrote down the multiples, and then I'm looking for which, is this, which, uh, which of these multiples this goes into. All right, now, greatest common factor. We're looking for the factor that's uh, the biggest factor of both of those. So um, 6 is 2 and 3, and 16 is 2 and 8. Now 3 and 8 have nothing in common. They are what called relatively prime. They have no common factors. So I really can stop right there, relative primes. So my greatest common factor is 2. Three and, so again, the reason I stopped here, I didn't make this 2 times 2 times 2, is because 3 and 8 were relative primes. They have no common factors. So I just stopped right there. So my greatest common factor of 6 and 16 is 2. Okay, now my other method. The other method involves prime factorization. Okay, so sometimes, sometimes when you have numbers that are tricky, the prime factorization method is, is a whole lot easier. Okay, so um, greatest common factor, we already, it, it's exactly the same way. This and this are the same. We're just making a list. But for the lowest common multiple, here, let's see here. Lowest common multiple, what you do is you go ahead and you do the prime factors. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. You do the prime factors of those numbers, and then you make a list. You make a list of what's in common. So there's a 2 here in each one. So I'm making a list. These are in common, so I put it in my list. And then whatever's left over. and then you multiply all that together. So 6 times 8 is 48. That's my lowest common multiple. So let's, uh, let's talk about that again. By prime factorization, we can find the lowest common multiple. So what you do is you, you figure out the prime factors of each number, right? So 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. And then whatever's in common between both of those sets, you write in your new list. So I had a 2 in each one, cross it out. Make sure you cross it out, because otherwise you forget it. And then all of these others were just leftover numbers. So there was a 3 here, and 3 2's over there, so I added them in the list. And then you multiply the whole thing together. And that's it. So, um, those of you in my Algebra 1 class, um, there's going to be an assignment and if you do this assignment and you get them all right, I'm going to give you some partial credit on your quiz from Friday. So, here are the practice problems I'd like you to try. If you're not in my class and you're just trying to learn how to do this, you can go ahead and try those. And you could actually just leave a comment and I'll tell you if you got them right or not. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful and have a good day.